Welcome to another Extraordinary Ordinary Catholic. And again, I hope you're still free of the uh, coronavirus and that you and your family, your loved ones are doing well and that you're uh, taking all the necessary steps to make sure that you don't catch it. Uh, this is the last in our series of Extraordinary Ordinary Catholics. We're going to talk about someone named Stanley Rother. Stanley Rother was born in Oklahoma in, in uh, 1935. Uh, he was a farm boy, grew up on a farm, small town, and he lived a life of a small town farm boy. He worked on the farm, did all the chores that were necessary, played in sports with his friends at a small school that he was in. When he grew up, he had, thought he had a, a vocation to the priesthood, so he entered a seminary, but he was dropped from the seminary. Uh, he was having difficulty with studies, especially with Latin. However, there was an archbishop in Oklahoma City who recognized that there was something more to Stanley Rother than just his ability to learn Latin or some of the other things that, that he was studying. So he found another seminary for him uh, and patron gave him his patronage and put him in the other seminary. And he was ordained in 1963. For five years, Stanley Rother stayed in Oklahoma and served in his own diocese, doing a lot of work with farming and farmers. Five years later, the diocese had a mission, the archdiocese had a mission in Guatemala. And so Stanley went down with a group of uh, priests, sisters, and lay people to work in this mission. Uh, they went to one of the poorest parts of the country. They went to a part of the country where the, the people were, were uh, indigenous people. They belonged to one of the special tribes. But Stanley Rothel had so much trouble learning Latin, had learned Spanish, and he learned the local language. He brought certainly his faith. He was a, a priest, he was a preacher, he was a teacher, uh, he took care of the sacraments, but he also brought his, brought his farming skills. So he taught the farmers in the area uh, how to grow things in a better way. He taught them how to, to uh, grow new crops that might offer better results to, to their work. Uh, he was there for 13 years and a civil war broke out between a very repressive government, uh, military government, and a group of leftist guerrillas. Uh, the Catholic Church and Catholics were caught in between because in the care for the poor, there was always a suspicion that somehow they were involved with the, with the uh, leftists. Uh, finally, it was discovered that Stanley Rother, his name, was on the death list. So the Archbishop called him back to Oklahoma City. Went back, but he stayed only a few months. Uh, he said that the shepherd cannot run. And after a few months home, he went back to, to uh, Guatemala. After only a few months there, in July of 1981, a couple of men broke into his rectory at night. Uh, they tried to kidnap the men, but he was a strong country boy, and he fought them off, so they shot him in the head, and he died. Uh, Stanley Rother died because he had this great love for his people. And in 2016, uh, Pope Francis named him uh, officially a martyr of the church, and in 2017, Stanley Rother was named a blessed, the first step on the way to priesthood, in a great arena with 20,000 people in Oklahoma City. So here we have another ordinary, extraordinary Catholic, a man who had trouble with his studies, a man who was a farm boy, and yet a man who gave his life for those he loved.